This is what Jamie Carl sounds like when he's training for arm wrestling. <laughs> Jamie, whose forearms are bigger than his calf muscles, tells me about the headspace he needs to get into to arm wrestle competitively. I get into the, a space of, um, I wouldn't say aggression, but it is controlled assertion. It is, it is I'm, I'm definitely here to beat this guy. Uh, and it's to the point where I'm so hyped up when I get to the table that I, I feel like adrenaline is pulsing through my veins. So when we're gripping up, I'm, I'm starting. To, I can feel my breathing getting more intense. Um, I, can, I can feel. I'm even getting the sensations now. I can feel the just that raw, uh, primitive feeling of, of you know, it's, it's survival mode. I'm, I have to beat this guy to survive. When did you first know you're a pretty good arm wrestler? Uh, I first knew I was, I was good at arm wrestling when I was about eight years old and it came after watching a, uh, a movie called Over the Top where Sylvester Stallone starred in it and that, I mean, Hollywood kind of, you know, epitomises things for, for children to aspire towards and sort of arm wrestling just took, took grasp in my mind. So I, I remember challenging my mum to arm wrestling after that movie and, uh, and I managed to beat her and I was applying some of these moves in this movie that I saw. And so that... You challenged your mum? Yeah, I challenged mum. I knew that dad would be a, a bit of a step, so uh, mum bring it on, and she, um, yeah, she, we arm wrestled on the floor in the lounge, and I beat mum, and, and I sort of thought at that point in time maybe I could be an arm wrestler, and it kind of started from there. Jamie would grow up arm wrestling in schools to settle scores and win bets, and then right through university. But it wasn't until recently that he saw that maybe he could go competitive. I first, uh, I first started to take arm wrestling on a little bit more seriously about 18 months ago when I saw um, some stuff on YouTube. Uh, there was a fitness expo in Melbourne and they were doing arm wrestling there and uh, straight away it sort of um, just like a light bulb went off in my mind where I thought, well this is a sport, it's in Australia, there's guys actually competing at tournaments, uh, there's real matches, there's real trophies, there's real gold out there to be grabbed. And so I made an inquiry and, uh, and then upon that inquiry realised that this is actually a serious thing and Australia's been doing it for a couple of years. So at that point in time I thought, well, it's professional enough to be recognised as a sport in Australia, I want to be part of that sport. And so I just started to train from that point on for nationals, which was held about six months later. So the arm wrestling scene was, and is, still new in Australia. But Jamie walked into that competition last year completely unknown. I really enjoyed the fact that I was this dark horse. I was the shadow that, that nobody really knew about. And for me, in any kind of sporting event, I prefer to be that underdog, and I think most people do. Uh, I don't like to parade about it too much. Um, so coming up to nationals and not being uh, anyone that was considered um, known in the sport was, was good because they didn't understand my technique, they didn't know what my, where my strengths were or where my weaknesses were, and I think that played a lot in my favour. Jamie was crowned the 2012 national champion for the 90 kilogram class on his right arm. There's different comps for left and right. Since then though, other arm wrestlers have been studying his technique, telling him they're out to get him. He's been training hard. In my bathroom at home I've actually got this, um, this bit of toilet paper which I've stuck next to the mirror there where I brush my teeth and, and look at it every day before going to work and it's got five key things in relation to arm wrestling on there. It's got strength, technique, power, um, learning to lose and psych and those five things I, I guess when wrapped together are fundamentally what arm wrestling is about. And it constantly reminds me of what I need to be preparing for for my arm wrestling tournaments. Anyway, a year down the track, the 2013 Nationals were held in Sydney last Saturday night. Hello, Jamie speaking. Hey, Jamie, it's Mike. <laughs> how are you, Mike? I'm good. How, how, how did you go? Still the champ. They're still the champ. <laughs> the, the, the monkey's off the back, mate. I've shaken it. It's a good, good feeling. So how did you feel when you put his hand down to the pad? Mate, it's, it felt like I was going to explode with just complete and utter release, like release more than anything. Like, I, I was more concerned about trying to hold my, my fortress that I've created over the last year than, than, actually, um, than actually just focusing on the win. So for me, it was just like, Jesus, thank God I've managed to, you know, to keep, to keep on top. So I was just, yeah, I was, I was ready to burst, mate, and just get yeah, wrapped. So what's next? Next is, uh, is training that left up so I can do the same on the left. I'll, um, I'll keep the training up hard on the right and 
Uh, maybe look at putting on a bit of weight. Maybe look at a, another weight class higher up. So yeah, maybe maybe go to uh, maybe represent Australia at um, at an international event. I, I'm now eligible to do that for, for next year, so, so maybe I'll consider that in September.